Welcome back to FTFM. I'm joined by Helena Morrissey, Chief Executive of Newton Investment Management. Thanks for joining us. Pleasure. Um, you have recently launched an initiative to get more women onto corporate boards. Will this be effective in and of itself, do you think, without any legislation to back it up? Well, uh, my hope is that we'll get there um, without a quota um, stipulating how many women or what percentage of women should be on boards. I think there's a lot of momentum around this issue at the moment, and I think a lot of us um, would like to see um, a, a big leap in the proportion of women on boards and in senior levels generally without resorting to a quota. And you're aiming for 30 percent in five years. Where are we at at the moment? 12.5% if you look at the FTSE, the top 100 companies, and I'm afraid the numbers dwindle somewhat if you look at the next 250 uh, companies by size. The Cranfield report, which recently came out, has got a lot of statistics, and we haven't moved um, very much at all in the last five years, really. And before that, was there a, a gradual increase, or have we... Have we it's been a bit leaps and bounds, but definitely a sense of plateauing, and obviously 10% or 12% isn't very much <laughs> where we are, so it hasn't been as if we've, we've really leapt, and we certainly haven't fallen back, but it's been just a very glacial pace over the last decade, really. And what have, what's seen as the main problems that are stopping women get onto boards? Well, I think there's more than one. That's part of the problem. And a lot of time and energy is spent di trying to diagnose what is it that's really an impediment to uh, further... Um, 